Hey guys, Buckskin Dave here. So, I started doing some spreading some gravel out on the shooting range <clears throat> with my tractor that I just put a new ram on or rebuilt ram and blew a hose. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and work on this barrel. Um, I'm going to take this apart here and we'll get going and uh, I'm going to brown this barrel using the oven. Probably while we're waiting for the barrel to be finished, uh, we'll put one more coat of, of uh, true oil on the uh, stock and uh, this thing will be raring to go. So, And you know, I can't believe what a shitty host I've been. I made that video yesterday, it was a long video, 20, 20 minutes or something, and did not shoot a gun once. So, I mean, that was terrible and I will not make that mistake today. So anyway, um, sit back, I got my coffee here, grab you a cup of black rifle and uh, we'll get this done. The one thing I like about these rifles is how easy they are to take apart. So first thing that I do is I take out this side plate here, set it aside. That's so you can hammer these pins out. Before I take the pins out, however, I want to take the bottom off. And that's these screws right here. These are such a simple gun, and they're such a strong, I mean, it really was a good military gun of the day because it was almost impossible to break these things. I mean, I'm sure there was, I'm sure there was some Marines around back then. So anyway, this comes out, get that out of the way. Then we pop these pins out which we can use, where's that, there it is. Sometimes they need a little tap. Two pins. Okay. Pin one and pin two. Nope, that one's a little tight. And then, let's see, trigger goes, hammer goes out, I can't remember now. Hammer goes out, this comes out the top, hammer comes out the bottom. And, that quick, she's ready for some sanding. So, let's get over to the other vise and put her in and do some sanding. So, you know, being a black powder gun, which this is, uh, it's really nice that it goes down so easy. I mean, it's so easy to take this apart, clean it, and put it back together that a guy almost doesn't mind doing it. And uh, so we're gonna put a little, and you guys have seen me do this a hundred times. I'm gonna do a little bit of file, draw file on here because I have some kind of pretty deep scratches. And uh, I'm gonna do that all the way out. And uh, I'm not going to put you through that suffering. Go ahead and enjoy your coffee, and uh, I'll get this thing done. And then we'll go to the back over there, and we'll get it going in the oven and heat it up and put some brown on. Okay, so I... Uh, I've been just spraying this stuff before I put it in the oven or do anything with uh, a little bit of simple green. I don't really, uh, I have some uh, TCE and all them things. Don't seem to need it. So let's go turn the oven on, get it to warm up, and then we'll get this baby in there. I just turned it on. It's going to take a while to warm up, I think. But it is warming up. Okay. We'll get this to 300. And then we need to get ready here. So, pull it out. Okay, that's in the right spot. Because I'm going to set it across here. And uh, that's how we're going to probably need a new one of them. 
we'll be all ready with our plum brown. And then when we wash this one, we'll get a rag and we'll wash, we'll cart it off with a wet rag, and that will uh, that will let us see the color. And uh, with the rust process, more so than the blue. You get a little blue inside the barrel, it just blues. As a matter of fact, if I was to blue this hot blue it, I'd dunk the whole thing. With well, rust, you don't want that down there. So, uh, it's got a wood plug in there. Okay, so, we're set here. We gotta let that warm up. How about some trigger time? Let's go make some noise. Okay. Sarah's going to give her another try. You notice she's shooting off an Idaho shooting bench. So, you can adjust it now. Adjust your sight. Yeah. Oh, way low right. Oh. Four rounds of 38.55. Like I'm not like doing much better. There it is. Ooh, dead center. So there's a little wind up there, Sarah. So we're gonna try changing the camera angle from behind and see if she does any better. So am I even low? Yeah, I think uh, the wind's blowing up there. So put it to the left a little, like in the white. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then put your cover that whole thing with your sight, the okay. green. Now you got it that time. Nice job. So now it looks like it's in the center of the green. So the wind's knocking it over because it did the same to my uh, 3855. So. All right, so I'm going to try the, we're working on the almost gimmer, so I'm going to try the, the original gimmer here. See if I can remember what my hold on was. That's all you have to do is remember your hold, and I don't, I think I do on this. Right there is where I have to hold that. <laughs> nice. It won't. I can feel it through the glove, so. Let's see what, let's see if she'll sizzle on us. So, yeah, a little bit of sizzle, just right. I think those little parts get a little bit too hot sometimes, because they're small. These big, bigger parts take a while to uh, heat up, so that's good. It keeps us from ruining them. Let's get our crown. Okay. It's drying itself off, which is pretty good. Which is one of the things you really wanted to do. And here we go. We didn't get any there. See, it's steaming. It's not quite sizzling, but it's steaming, so. Which is it's probably okay. I like a little sizzle. With this oven, it's not such a big deal because this is going back into the oven and it'll dry right into there. So. Always be ready to catch it. Okay, I think I need just a little more right here. This is going to come out okay. Was that other spot right there? Okay. Start to come out good. Back in she goes. Oh yeah, we're getting rusty. All right, let's so get this and put it here. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, now look at that bubble. It takes a while for this barrel to get warm. 
That's perfect right there. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Now get this over here. So I didn't draw file the part that's under the wood. And normally I don't anyway. I just sand it a little. But I didn't this time because what I want to do is see what the machine finish that was on this looks like without sanding or draw following it. So we're going to get to see what that looks like here pretty quick. Let's see if it's hot down here. Now, oh, see, it cools off fast. <laughs> Try to keep your face out of them fumes and be in a ventilated place. find it's really interesting how different parts of the barrel get hot faster and then stay hot longer than other parts of the barrel. All right, I think we'll do this one more time and then we're going to um, then we'll cart it off and see how dark it is and where we're going to go with it. Still. So let's see where we can go with it this time. I want to wash it off this time too and see where we're at because because if you don't you don't really know where you're at so we're gonna make use here yeah it's got good and hot yep. I got my vise just kind of jaws just open a little so it kind of holds this. So I don't roll because I'm not pushing very hard, but as you saw earlier, you can roll it out of there. Let's see how quick you are. But you get it hot enough, 300 ish, and it stays warm enough to get right on through it. See, you even hear it sizzling just a little. And usually, three or four coats is usually does a trick. Five sometimes. Depends on how dark you want it, is really what it boils down to. dark. So, I don't know if you can see it. Of course, it's, it still needs to be carted, but you can see we're getting darker. So, it's going to be pretty it's close. pretty hot. It's uh, coming into the brown that I want, but it's uneven in places. And it's not uneven, like wore out. Like where it's just uneven like it's got some drip marks so I'm going to give it one more shot and even it all up and uh, heat it up and then uh, we'll cart it off and we should be okay should be about there so so we put one more coat on now I got it soaked with oil 
I got one spot light here and spot light here, but that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna wear that out with some steel wool to make it look warm there. So I got it soaked with oil. I'm gonna let it cure for an hour to a couple of hours, maybe the rest of the day, and we'll put it back together. So anyway, uh, go ahead and get you another cup of coffee and. Once I get it all back together, we'll have a look at her, see how she looks. All right, guys. So that's the brown we got. I hope this is working for you. So there's your, see we got that brown in there. Got my key browned. Sights in. And your, I, the action, I pretty much left it. That's the way it came. I, I kind of like it that way. Uh, it's, it's still old looking, but yet it's not white. And there's what we got left for our Gemmer stock. Side. Give you a Might look. Come out okay, I thought. See, the action that really wasn't in bad shape, was it? So, okay, there you go. What is going on back there? Anyway. There you go. I'd love to go shoot it. That's uh, all I really have to do now is uh, shoot it and get them sights kind of probably up and down they'll be fine. I might have to go back and forth just a little and uh, oops. I'd love to shoot it but I'm going to let it all soak in overnight. Let the black, uh, browning cure and I'll wipe her down and we'll shoot her. We'll shoot her next time. Yeah, definitely. So, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope that just clarified some things or, I don't know, whatever. That's just how I do stuff. Um, I got a little bit more wear finish to put on here so it'll look a little wore out. But other than that, I, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It'll be just a fine little gun to pack around. Thanks for joining me for a cup of coffee. I really enjoyed your company. So... Stay with my channel, and uh, we'll be coming up with something here again pretty soon, and we're definitely going to shoot this gun next time. So, y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.